Annapurna circuit and it's day 18 of our trek. It's been an awesome adventure. You don't read a lot about trekking with kids that's really positive. So we wanted to explain how much fun we've had on our big adventure. Yeah. It's monsoon season which just means that there's lots more puddles to splash in. Yeah. And fewer crowds has meant that we've been able to move at our own pace and, and always find a, a warm bed and a hot meal. We chose a fairly conservative route um, the, up the western side of the Annapurnas between um, Benny and Johnson and then on to uh, Kag Benny and Muttanath, which is the um, Hindi pilgrimage temple site. Kag Benny is right on the edge of Upper Mustang and it's a really fascinating landscape. There's been lots of ancient villages to play hide and seek in and fresh apricots and lots of ponies and donkeys to entertain Maya. It's been a really good trip. The gradient was quite easy, so Maya's been able to tackle most of it under her own steam, including the hardest and the steepest day on the entire circuit, which you did a couple of days ago all by yourself. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so we we came up to Gorapani um, and climbed Poon Hill yesterday and got our first big panorama of the Annapurnas and the monsoon clouds just cleared uh, long enough for us to, to see a whole range of mountains. So it's been a great end to the trip. 18 days, really recommended for families. But if you're curious about what we've done, Maya's only four and a half years old, so she's been walking quite a lot. If you'd like to find out about what we did and how we did it and what we carried, including some information about dealing with altitude sickness with little ones, please see our website, wildtravelstory.com, for heaps more information. Should we get some tea? Yes. Okay, let's go. I found a shiny. <gasps> let's 